everybody. Uh, we're going to do a Kara potato reveal. If you guys, uh, this is the end of my last video, the end of the day, and we spent all day harvesting. Uh, we gathered up all kinds of things, but if you remember me saying I lost most of my Karas to mice that are planted in the ground, so these are going to be my hope in seed potatoes for next year and also eaten. And these are some I guess they call them smart pots. I bought them from Vessi Seeds, but they were pots that I picked up. I kind of like them for planting in. I might pick up a few more. They have they have one size bigger than this that they actually call their potato pot. Oh, they're in there. I hope it's hard coming out because it's so full of potatoes. roots. The roots go straight through the bag. is kind of a fibrous bag and the roots go right straight through the bag. So they kind of bite onto the bag pretty good. Look at the roots in the bottom. Anyway, that's my smart pot. I'll get my little container here and there is some carrot potatoes rolling under there already. Not bad looking. Not perfectly smooth. I used a mixture of, uh, it was, I think, sheep manure compost. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but so far, this is looking pretty good. Oh, well, there's looked like one there that may be, may be getting nibbled by something, maybe not. I think there was three seed potatoes in this one. There's one of the seed potatoes. Look at that. He's still in pretty good shape. He almost looks like you could eat him. Now there's a nice Uh oh. Look at that. Even in the even in the smart pot I was getting mice. Isn't that a shame? That was a beautiful big potato. And look at them now the little Oh, if I could keep my language at a minimum. Uh, the little devils even climbed up in that pot. And anyway, there's a nice Kara potato. They even climbed up in that pot and ate the potato out of the pot. I wouldn't expect that to happen at all. That was a surprise. Not a good surprise, but a surprise nonetheless. Now there's a nice Kara potato. Look at that one. They're so pretty with the pink, the pink ends on to them. That was a nice one. Here's the other seed potato. Yes, I never got to do many videos this summer. As I told you earlier, I was just starting to feel better by May. And then by May, of course, we're just getting into the first part of June. And where I had been injured, I got so far behind in my work that this summer was just a busy, busy summer. Plus, I was starting to feel better, and it was such a, here's one of the other seed potatoes, it was such a joy to be back going again that we went and did anything and everything that we could get a chance to do. There's some nice ones, that's getting to be a nice little box, so maybe there is hope in me having some to eat. They're a little, a little scabby, and I'm wondering if they didn't put sawdust in the compost to help to help bulk up the compost some with these bags of stuff that you buy from the stores you never know what kind of mixes you can't believe you can't believe what they say on the cover so you never know what kind of mixes they're going to put in them oh here's another one hiding oh that's a nice one look at him now that's that's what I picture as a as a picture perfect care of potato so I might get a chance to try some of these to eat after all. I think they are quite a fluffy, nice potato. I might have to talk to Brendan again to see exactly how you cook them because I went in online and did a little research online and the one site that I was on, they didn't recommend them because they said they went to pieces in the water when you boiled them. Well, I knew Brendan, I think he boils them and then nukes them for the last minute or two. Well, I think that's it.
think that's it. Now, I probably could have watered that a little more. You see, that's awfully dry. I probably could have watered them a little more. But the smart pots, like Dale said, in the smart pots, they dry out so quick. So now, I'll get these bagged up and we'll weigh them. What do we think? There must be a, there's a couple of pounds there for sure. There's some nice potatoes there. A little scabby, but long size of the potatoes there, the scab really doesn't bother me one way or another. That all comes off when you peel it. That mouse getting in there and eating that one big one, that bothers me. Oh, there's going to be a war on mice. Now, let's go ahead and weigh this and see what it weighs. I think there's... Got it on my trusty scales. These weigh 10 pounds without putting uh, what they call a P on the end. So, then it doesn't weigh 7 pounds. There's 7 right on. 7's a little too heavy. We'll go back to 6 and 3 quarter. I would say six and three quarters, quite fair. Stop your balancing. There you go. I would say six and three quarters, a fair way. Well, that's the first carrot potato reveal. Three seed potatoes in uh, what are they? A six or a seven gallon pot, and at six and three quarter pounds. So that's quite respectable. Have a great one, everybody.